I want to thank each and every one of you for coming um, this afternoon to share in our worshiping community. Thank you very much. I am Bishop Idikai Mary, and I will be presiding over this service with the rest of the people of God. We want to begin our worship. This is the seventh Sunday after Easter. And um, I want to ask some women to, uh, to give us the gift of prayer and uh, pray on our behalf to God. Let us begin with Victoria. Amen. Barbara. Amen. Let us hear the reading from the book of champions. That's what we call the Bible. Hear ye the word of God. Please tell us where you're reading from. What verse to what verse? The reading comes from the book of Acts, chapter 2, Okay, your voice is not loud enough for us today, Shante. Better? Yeah, it's better now. Okay. The reading comes from the book of Acts, chapter 16, verses 16 through 34, and I will be reading 16 through 25. Okay. One day, as we were going to the place of prayer, we met a slave girl who had a spirit of divination and brought her owners a great deal of money by fortune telling. While she followed Paul and us, she would cry out, These men are slaves of the Most High God, who proclaim to you a way of salvation. She kept doing this for many days, but Paul, very much annoyed, turned and said to the Spirit, I order you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And it came out that very hour. But when her owners saw that their hope of making money was gone, they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them into the marketplace before the authorities. When they had brought them before the magistrate, they said, These men are disturbing our city. They are Jews and are advocating customs that are not lawful for us as Romans to adopt or observe. The crown joined in attacking them and the magistrates had them stripped of their clothing and ordered them to be beaten with rods. After they had given them a severe flogging, they threw them into prison and ordered the jailer to keep them securely. Following these instructions, he put them in the innermost cell and fastened their feet in the stock. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. Reading from verse 26 through 34. Suddenly there was an earthquake so violent that the foundation of the prison was shaken. And immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's chains were unfastened. When the jailer woke up and saw the prison doors wide open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself, since he supposed that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul 
shouted in a loud voice, Do not harm yourselves, for we are all here. The jailer called for light, and rushing in, he fell down trembling before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them outside and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? They answered, Believe on the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, you and your household. They spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all who were in his house. At the same hour of the night, he took them and washed their wounds. Then he and his entire family were baptized without delay. He brought them up into the house and set food before them. And he and his entire household rejoiced that he had become a believer in God. Here ends the reading. The Lord bless to us our readers and bless his word i ask that these words that they become supernatural even mental and physical and financial tools that god uses this word to do mighty things in our lives to his glory and to our benefits forever and ever amen Amen. Victoria, make sure you write down this title for me. And Mary, write it down for me. Kingdoms at War. Kingdoms at War. Two kingdoms are doing two different businesses. Miracles ain't for profit. Although, there is a place where people have to be responsible and duty-bound to support the mission of Jesus Christ on the earth through our ministries. But everything that has to do with magic, divination, fortune-telling, everything that has to do with astrology, witchcraft is all about money a young girl so so let me put it this way when people go to consult with um palm readers people who will read your palms people who tell you that they can see into your futures um the stars you know they want to consult your star whether you are a Pisces, a Gemini, a Leo, whatever. People do not ask themselves questions. And the first question I always ask myself concerning every human being I meet, concerning every city, every state, every nation that I ventured into, or every business, is this. Every voice I hear who is inside that person or who is behind that person until you ask these questions you'll never be successful people will deceive you manipulate you and destroy you and dump you very easily they will use you very easily our generation is the type that they are not interested in who is behind the power at work who is the power operating in a person what our generation want is to see the power and to enjoy it or to harvest from it without knowing that there is a price to be paid there is consequences for everything so we go to those places because humans are interested in two things basically two things and those two things every other things comes from there and that is money which goes with material resources and power so wherever we see those two things we bow down and worship that's what human beings do and fallen angels demons and other presences other powers and forces knows this weakness of humans and so they they reap very much from it so here is a young girl who is being used 
he was possessed by the spirit of divination. He can tell you accurately what is what. So the gift of knowledge and intelligence from the supernatural realms to interpret physical, mental, financial, or any kind of intelligence or senses is not limited to us Christians. Neither is it limited to Hindus, Buddhists, Muslims, etc. But also is even more powerful among folk and cultural religions, what we call popular cultures of the, the uh, of native peoples around the world. Every culture is a native culture. Just know it. But the highest form of power that exists and will always exist belongs to the Lord of hosts. And we carry that power whereby we don't just know but we also act. There is no power of outside the Lord of hosts himself that made the universe or made humans or even made them. So other forces outside God did not even make themselves. They are under the jurisdiction, under the pity of God, but now under his judgment. So this young girl, when you go to her, being possessed by the spirit of divination, accurate interpretation of what is going on, ability to read your mind. Remember that it's not everything that they can understand. People like me, if I walk into such a place, that, guy, that girl can read my mind. She won't be able to read the deep things about me. All that she could detect about Paul and Silas was these are men of the Most High God. They belong to the Lord of Hosts. They teach people the right way. She was able to pick that out. Day in, day out, when she sees these two men of God, these two men from God, that's the correct word, she will repeat the same thing. These are good people. These are people from, they are different. They, they tell people the right thing. So Paul turned around and sensed that that is a spirit of divination. And he casted it out. That should tell you when you go to those places to look for power and for money and for success and for jobs, that should tell you what power is working behind the scene and why after you finish having those things, problem starts in a different way. Because let me tell you something you need to know. Satan will never share his kingdom with any human being. You have to know it why he hates humans and humans don't know it except some of us do now the reading we've just read talks about that the spirit that possessed this girl it was for fortune telling the divination was used for fortune telling And it made a lot of money for her owners. They profited from this. It was good business. Magic is good business. But miracle is not for business. Miracle is how God shows his love, his continuous love and passion to care for humanity. Satan don't care for anybody. So everything is a nickel and a dime in his kingdom. So now the owners of this girl sees that they don't have any more business. Because witchcraft is business. Astrology is business. Ouija board is business. 
anything that that comes from the other kingdom is big business. Being a magician is big business. It's for money. Being able to levitate, fly on a broomstick is for money. But our own is different. Ours is not for money. Ours is the display of the spectacular nature, power, compassion, caring permanently of the Lord of hosts. The King of kings and Lord of lords, Jesus, the Messiah and his Father and the Holy Ghost. It's a different, it's a different thing entirely. The problem is that the other side, it seems like their power is on 24-7. Why? Because the practitioners, they pay a price for this. While the worshippers of the real forces, the real powers of God are not willing to pay the price for it. Instead, They've also been dragged by Baal and by their greediness into money and the quest for power. And what happens? Most of what happened in the churches is actually the activities of Baal. That's why when bad things happen in a nation, the church is the first place that the devil chained down. That's why churches can't speak because they've been bought. We are not supposed to be bought. Let's carry on here. Was it right for Paul to cast out and stop other people's businesses? Well, in a business term, it, we will say it wasn't proper. Did the girl ask Paul to cast the demon out of her? No. So why did Paul do it? He saw this young girl as someone who needed freedom who needed to be free from this kind of oppressive spirit. So get it very well. Those who are reading the cards for you, those who are reading it for you, astrologers, those who are doing the seances, all those things, the voodoo for you, just be aware that they are under oppression, heavy oppression from satan and sooner or later he will hit them and their family members sooner or later he will dumb them sooner or later he will kill them sooner or later they will suffer from different kinds of sicknesses that i know for sure paul saw it paul knew what will happen to this girl if this girl continued so forcefully he told the demon in her come out and that tells us another thing. People who are in the other kingdom are operating, are possessed by demons. Or they are controlled by the presence of an outside force, which is fallen angelic powers. So when the owner saw that their business has come to an end because of what Paul has done, they were like, wow, there is a bigger power here. This guy has destroyed our business. This girl now is free. Nobody can now come to us. We will no longer be making money. So they concocted a story that Paul and his companion, Silas, they are, um, they are Jews. They are coming to teach the people and to introduce a new culture into a Roman culture. And so, um, they've done a bad thing by doing that. So there was problem. Paul and his companion were beaten. With rods, they were beaten. For doing a good thing. That's why you have to be careful about doing a good thing. Personally, I've experienced that many people that I have felt pity for, and I decided to help them, many of them have turned. When people are normal, everything is fine, what was oppressing them is gone, you will see their true character. 
when good things happens to people, people will reveal who really they are. When bad things happen to people, they will reveal who really they are. Those two, those two instances. So they threw Paul and Silas into jail and fastened their legs on a stock so that they would not even be able to get up. So they sat there bleeding. Now tell me if it was you, what will you say? Normally such a thing happens. When people attack you for doing a good thing, you should know that there is something that there are outside forces involved. Paul and Silas are they represent the kingdom of God. The entire city, this and the owners of this girl, and the law of that land was completely controlled by the kingdom of Satan. And of course, Satan has no kingdom by his organization. Only God has a kingdom. And what happened here? Listen very carefully. How you react to a situation will bring the blessing. Or you will give an it will become a portal. When bad things happen to you, either it becomes a portal for the blessing, for God to begin to operate for your good and the good of others, or it becomes a portal for darkness to come over you and destroy you. Paul knew what happens when bad things happen to somebody, how you should react. You don't complain. You do not complain. You are not frustrated or sad. You don't go there. We are not allowed. The reason is because we are like God and goddesses. We are like gods and goddesses representing heaven. That's why we are asked to be tough. They began to sing a song and many songs, and hymns, and chant psalms. They sang, as they sat there, they danced, and they sang to God. What happened? They changed, they turned darkness off in the entire city. When they began to sing, they are sung to God. God's presence and power came down to that city and filtered through the cloud to that jail. When you hear that there is an earthquake, always know that there is an angel or there are companies of angels. Suddenly there was an earthquake and every prisoner became free. All their chains fell off. A song singing brought angels into the scene. It brought angels into the scene. Singing, what you should do when bad things happen to you is to sing. We will say, how can I sing? I'm very angry. I'm very angry. I'm very frustrated. I am, I'm so afraid. I don't know what to do about this situation. This person is so bad. I wish that they did this. I wish that they did that. I wish that this marriage was that. I wish that this divorce was that. 
we begin to talk so many things and that is what satan was looking for that's what the other side was looking for to rouse you up make you angry get you frustrated Put fear in you. Create anger in you. Tell you who is this God? Why was he waiting? Why was he watching? And all this was happening to me. Why didn't he intervene quickly and do something about it? Eh? Where is he? And you begin to even doubt the existence of God. Eh, 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 why is it that all this thing I've heard about Jesus is not working? Jesus did not appear when they were beating Paul and silas with rods not even with sticks with rods which means they got broken ribs broken head they got broken back broken legs that's the meaning of it i hope you've never seen people being beaten with rods and we are not talking of one person beating them they wanted to kill them if you didn't know this because when people beat you with rods they want to end your life Rods are heavy stuff. It breaks all part of your body. They were battered almost to death for doing a good thing. And yet they had the courage to sing. Many of you will say, I will never save this kind of a God who could not come to fight for me. They should have been thunder and lightning. And God does his thing differently. There is a place where God steps in. There is a place where God watches to see your reaction. And suddenly, singing shows God that no matter what happened to Paul and Silas, it did not make them, it did not shake their, their confidence, their devotion to the Lord God Almighty. To Jesus, to the Holy Ghost. And when God saw that, the ministries of angels kick in. And whenever you see the ministry of angels kick in, when you are going through a hard time, what happened? There will be an earthquake. An earthquake shows that God has raised his hand on your behalf from the throne. And that there is a move of the band of angels into the eighth realm to clear the sky and the earth from demons and from fallen angelic influences. That's what was happening. And immediately that begins to happen, there will be a mighty shaking of the earth. The earth will quake. It means that the sky realm has come in contact with the eight realm and the eight realm cannot be the same because you have changed the atmosphere you are singing your devotion is bigger than any being your devotion to god and to jesus and to the holy ghost is bigger than any problem you have placed god first you said if i die let me die and i'll tell you you will not die because god then will say this is my own no matter what happened this is my own you see it is only this kind of people that god can boast about them before all kingdoms before all forces and said look that's my own no matter what happened he or she stood strong knowing that i am coming into the game and he always comes and the earthquake happened just within the prison the earthquake did not happen in the city the earthquake did not happen in the nation just where they were in that prison and that resulted in the gospel being incarnated the gospel taking root in that city god is looking to use you through good and bad to plant the blessing in somebody's life and he planted it through the jail officer and his family and the gospel took root in that city and began in that city 
God turned a bad thing to a good thing forever. Your prayer should be, Lord, every bad thing that has happened in my life, look into my past, look into my present, look into my future, and use it to give me great harvest, harvest of people into your kingdom who will receive Jesus as their Lord and God. Use it to heal. Use it to give me financial outpouring and also to give to others. Use it to do mighty things. Do not allow me to sit back and cry because there is no time for crying in the kingdom. In the kingdom of God, there is no time for that. Lord, go into my future with every bad thing people have done against me. Go into the future and go into my past and into my present and change them from being bad things to being good things. Let those who see me tomorrow become ashamed of themselves because you came for me. Because I sang for you. I danced for you. People of God is the same thing that I've been teaching all of you over the years. That when something bad, you receive a bad news. Write it down. Put it on the ground. Stand on top of it. And match it. And speak to it. And take authority. And then dance around it. And tear it or burn it. I've told you to be doing it. And that's the same thing they did. And the earthquake came. An earthquake is coming for you. Because from now on, you are going to do things differently. Let us pray. Vivian, we ask you to pray shortly. You are the leader of the prayer. Pray shortly and tell God to change our character and the way we respond to event on earth. Begin to pray, please, Mama. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word today. Father, we pray even now that when bad things, rough things, cruel things come our way, that we'll turn it around with songs and prayers. We'll change the atmosphere in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, God, for giving us the strength to do this and to stay on it, God, in the That happened to me, Lord, I should stand strong, firm, and Lord, be able to think and pray you in the midst of trouble, in the midst of problems. Lord, I'm asking that this spirit will enter into us, the spirit that entered into Paul and Silas, that they did. How not to keep enemies. How not to carry burdens. How not to be deceived by problems. Problems are deceptions. Please write that down. It's a powerful key. Problems are deceptions. If you did not learn anything, the Holy Spirit has given you
sing and dance even though everything looks bad sing and dance by doing that you have imposed a different kingdom on whatever sent that trouble that's how that's the secrecy of everything we've been doing today now if you want if you want to partner with us to contribute financially to what we are doing the work of Jesus's mission on the earth write to us PO box Victoria go on you know all that go ahead Okay, uh, I got the PO box right here. Okay, you can write to PO box 2491 Wichita, Kansas 67201. Oh. And what about our website? What about the phone numbers there to call? If you want to call us, it is 316-665-4400. If no one answered that phone, please call 316-512-6944. You can also check us out on our website, which is www.idikaimeriministry.com or idikaimeri.org. You can also watch our broadcasts on YouTube, Idika A.E. Mary YouTube. Thank you very much. God Almighty be with you. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen. Bye-bye. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you. We will yeah. sing and dance. Thank you. Thank you, Bishop. You're welcome.